Hey guys, I'm Jessie Duff, Team Hornady Pro Staff Member. I'm here today in the Hornady Lab with Jaden Quinlan, a ballistics engineer. A few things we wanted to talk to you about today is uh, carrying and defending yourself. It's a big topic in today's society, especially for women. Should you choose to carry, which it is your right, we just wanted to let you know there are some options out there that are tailored for women. One of the products here at Hornady is our Critical Defense Light. It's a round that was created for women or new shooters to carrying, and I'm going to let Jaden talk a little bit about the specifics. Yes, uh, when we designed Critical Defense Light, we wanted a load that was a little more easy to shoot, especially for women or people that are just getting started. Yeah. Um, the recoil and the large muzzle blast that you typically get when shooting a really small subcompact handgun. Could be intimidating. It is, yeah, it can be overbearing. Um, and so we set out and wanted to design a new bullet that would live up to the critical defense standard that's been out for years. So it's gotta be able to perform through heavy clothing, uh, give good penetration expansion but we wanted to make the load more shootable. Mm -hmm. And so we did that partially in the bullet design and then partially in the load development. And what we came up with was a load that's very easy to shoot. Um, the recoil is dramatically reduced and it's just, it's not as intimidating and, and you get all the same benefits that you had with the regular critical defense line. Yes, yeah, so you're not losing any performance, but it's tailored to different shooters. That's so. right, and one, right. one unique thing about the line is you'll see our tip in, in this line, in the light line is pink, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, one thing we wanted to do with, with breast cancer being such a prevalent issue um, today in society is we wanted to be able to give back a little bit to that cause. Oh, and wonderful. so we put the pink tip in there. Uh, it, it's the, the same material as our red tips in the yeah. regular critical defense line, so everything works the same. But we give a portion of our proceeds to breast cancer research. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. Well, as a lady, I thank you. No problem. <laughs> also, I see we have a couple of different boxes here. What calibers does this round come in? Uh, we do 38 special and 9 millimeter. Okay, so it gives some options for the different kinds of guns out there. Yep, whatever if you're running a choose. wheel gun, you know, yep. common entry guns, the 38 mm -hmm. special and 9 millimeters, obviously very common on the other side. Yeah. Well, great. Well, why don't we uh, shoot some of this through the ballistics gel? I'd love to see the performance from it. Sure. Let's do it. All right, Jaden. I've never shot ballistics gel, so maybe tell me a little bit about what it is, how it's made, and how you get it to, I guess, a standardized or regulated consistency. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So this is 10% ordnance gelatin. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's essentially a dehydrated pig byproduct. Oh. Yeah. Kind of inter interesting. <laughs> so it's stuff. not just Jello. No, like it's it actually a, <laughs> it's actually a really good representation of you know, the, the average density of, of the human body or okay. of an animal's, uh, you know, with different organs and yeah. stuff. Um, so we, it comes in a powder and you mix mm -hmm. it with a certain ratio of water and then you put it in a refrigerator at 38 to 42 degrees and it, it sets up. So it's cold. Yep, oh, it's it cold, cold right now, yeah. Okay. And then we shoot a, a BB into it actually out of mm -hmm. just this old BB gun and yeah. it has to be a certain velocity and it penetrates a certain amount. Mm -hmm. And if it's within the proper range, that tells you that the gel is calibrated and it's, it'll give you good test results. Okay. Nice. Yep. And what about the layers here? These look specific. I mean, we have different materials. Yes. So this is this is the FBI test for heavy clothing. Okay. And so in that, the first layer is a uh, t-shirt type material, kind of like you'd wear as an undershirt maybe. Okay. So that's layer number one. Let's tuck this and we don't want any wrinkles. Yeah. We want this guy to look nice. <laughs> number two is like an overshirt, um, like okay. a dress shirt or something yeah. like that. And then the third layer is uh, polar fleece, okay. which really has a hard time with hollow point bullets. They like to claw okay. it on this stuff, so it's a really good Which test. Which affects the performance. Yes, so, okay. yep, absolutely. Good deal. And then the fourth layer is denim, like okay. you wear in a pair of jeans. Yep. So it's kind of a, it's kind of an average across the, you know, a bunch of different types of yeah. clothing. It's a really hard test for bullets, but it gives you a, a good, a good idea how they're going to perform. Yeah, this looks like a good start. So we have your aiming point. Yep. How far are you expecting to get into this gelatin? Will this bullet this go through be, these layers and into the? It'll be around block. 10 inches, okay. um, plus or minus a little bit, but we okay. can expect it to be right around there. All and right. we'll take a look at the expansion and uh, the wound cavity afterwards as okay. well. Okay. Great. Well, I've shot all weekend, so I'm going to let you do the shooting today. No pressure. All right. And then we'll take a look at it. Sounds good. All right. All right well, you had a very well-placed shot. Congratulations. Yeah, it'll do. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So we've gone over the round. We've set up our ballistics. We have all the layers um, and we shot it. So now what do you do to determine if it performed the way it needed to? or you got the results that you wanted. What do we do now? Well, first off, let's pull the uh, clothing back here so okay. we can expose the gelatin. So we had a good entrance wound there. It's mm -hmm. in nice, clean gelatin. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna get good results from that. We'll okay. throw the tape measure up. And wow. looks like we're just 
a hair shy of 10 inches, so 9 right, and 3 quarter. Alright, and that's what you were expecting, yes. about 10 inches. Okay, yep. well good. Let's, let's uh, pull the bullet out here and take a look at it. There we go, right, look at that. The bullet. So, good expansion, Yeah. Uh, everything looks great. That looks you can perfect. see it left a, a really nice wound channel in the gelatin. Mm -hmm. um, you got an increasing temporary cavity there as the bullet's expanding. Yeah. And then it reaches its max diameter and it starts to slow down. So the wound channel tapers off a little bit and it comes to rest right at uh, nine and three quarter. If All I right. fish around in here, I can probably find the tip. There, there we, we go. go. So Look you can at see that. that, like I said that before, really that really expanded out. Yeah, that polymer once it uh, contacts the surface that's hard mm -hmm. enough to compress it, like the front of the gelatin. Yeah. Um, and it compresses it, actually bulges out inside of the bullet in the cavity, and it mm -hmm. forces it open. So that's what gives you this consistent, okay. reliable expansion. But that also keeps the clothing or anything else that might get inside of the hollow point and keep it from from expanding. Expanding. Yep. So yeah. it serves a dual purpose, and it definitely did its job. You can see that expanded, and then. The bullet itself, I mean, that's a perfect flower if I've ever seen one. So I would definitely put my money behind this round. It still has a performance of the critical defense line and it's a reduced recoil. So it's perfect for women or uh, someone that just wants not such a high powered round for carry. Um, exactly. That's definitely a good round. Great job. Thank you. I've been sitting here playing with the ballistics gel, and then he tells me what it is. She's like, <laughs> I was like does it, it smell? Kinda, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's death, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh.